What's up everybody, my name is Tyler and today we're going to take a quick look at the Ducky 1, 2, 10 keyless keyboard. That was a lot of words. I want to go through a little bit of some of the technical specifications in case you're into that sort of thing, but also if you're actually looking at getting a new keyboard and you kind of want to know, okay, like what kind of switches can I get, what kind of keycaps are there, etc. So. This particular keyboard has Cherry MX Black, the brown, the blue, the red, Nature White, which I've never, actually have never heard of those, the silver, and then of course the Silent Red. So as it seems, this keyboard really only comes with Cherry switches. So if you're not into Cherry switches, if you've used them before, if you haven't used them before, it only comes with Cherry switches. So if you know you like Gateron switches, you might wanna go find something that has Gateron switches. Now the one that I have, I've opted to go for the speed switches, which I believe are similar to the silver. Maybe they're not. I also have a one two mini in front of me as well, which does have the silver switches. I selected silver when I ordered it. It says speed. I think it says speed some, somewhere on it. I don't know. The switches themselves are silver underneath, so I actually don't know. If you know, let me know. Anyway, in terms of the keycaps, they are black, double shot, PBT, you know, with backlit legends. So that basically just means that they're black, they're plastic, and the light shines through them. Now this model, of course, is RGB because, you know, what are you doing if you're not getting an RGB keyboard in today's world? Unless you're a super keyboard enthusiast, in which case I've seen a lot of those guys go no LED backlight because, you know, it's all about the aesthetic, it's all about the feeling, stuff like that. Uh, in terms of features, 10 additional PBT double shot colorful keycaps. Random color, my random color just happens to be this really pretty like navy blue. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see that. Is it gonna focus? Looks pretty nice, I'm a fan of it. Um, I always put the escape key because I like it. I think it's cool. I did it on my 1-2 mini as well, except I got like this really nice salmon color on my 1-2 mini. So yeah, you get those if you want to swap out some of your, um, your arrow key, some of your function keys, you know, in case you want to replace some keys. Oh, well this is super cool. So apparently it supports Razer Chroma Broadcast, Ducky Macro 2.0, Ducky's newest RGB software. So if you're using the Razer software, which I have used plenty in the past, I'm sure you have too, apparently this will work. It comes with a USB-C cable because you know, it's 2020, everything's USB-C nowadays, which is totally cool. It has adjustable feet. That's your big one. And that's your little one. I guess the third position is just flat. I don't know. So, it either includes a uh, Year of the Pig or two Year of the Rat space bars. I fixed my hair. Ducky always does this really cool thing where they send uh, a special space bar key with all of their keyboards depending on what year it is. Mine has actually this rabbit looking guy. I'm not really sure what this one was, but it's pretty cool. My 1-2 mini came with the Year of the Pig space bar. I don't use it because I'm not as big of a fan of the pig as I am. The rabbit in this case kind of a cool unique little thing that ducky does in terms of the size itself the keyboard is about 14 and a half inches wide the ducky one two mini is probably another three or four inches shorter so maybe i don't know maybe 11 or you know maybe just about a foot so Keep that in mind, uh, depending on the kind of player that you are, if you are using this for gaming, if you're one of those people who likes to have their keyboard pretty much vertical when they play, that's something to consider, which is why a lot of people are going towards this 60% model, because you can obviously tilt it a whole bunch and get tilted, just like I do. Uh, whereas with the 10 keyless, you can still do that, I think. I think you could still kind of rotate it a little bit. I know I do just a little. Um, some people like pro players and a lot of first person shooter players like to have it like super, super tilted and vertical. Um, that may not be suitable for something this size just because you end up having it, having the keyboard like into your chest and that's obviously not very comfortable. In terms of the RGB color profiles and how, well, how do I edit them? How do I change the color? Everything is programmed directly on the keyboard, which I think is super cool. It makes it really easy. It does have, I think, eight preset profiles. You know, you got your, your typical rainbow wave. You've got some cool, like, star, sp uh, sp sprinkly, I don't know. I usually just go for like a solid color or I go for the rainbow wave works for me. If you want really specific kinds of things or you really like having it sync with your game, that might be something to consider. In terms of the build quality, how it feels in the hands, how heavy it is, etc. I mean, weight's not really too important in my opinion for a keyboard uh, if it's going to be stationary on your desk. And as long as it has good rubber feet, it shouldn't go anywhere. I would say this definitely is on the lighter end of things simply because it is made of plastic. Um, it's a nice plastic, you know, it's, it doesn't feel cheesy by any stretch of the imagination, but it's certainly not quite the same as some of the 
all aluminum unibody chassis that we're seeing now on some of the new Corsair or, or Razer keyboards, which are super nice, big fan of those, but it usually comes with a price increase. Now, in terms of pricing for the keyboard itself, you're looking at about $125, which, I mean, it is what it is, right? All right, well, that about does it. Uh, that's kind of the first look at the 1210 keyless keyboard from Ducky. Anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys coming to join me on my first YouTube video. Cue the holo cue the hallelujah. Super excited to kind of keep doing this in the future. Always looking for ways to improve, always looking for ways to get better. So yeah, you know, drop a comment, things you liked, things you didn't like, things that I should fix, things that I should keep doing, and I don't know, maybe maybe some things that you want to see. We're gonna give it a shot, we're gonna see how it goes, and um, we'll take it from there. So, thanks, we'll see you next time. It's keyboard time.